welcome back to another Reaction Monday. And it is Halloween, or Halloween has just passed. I'm very happy because the Buckeyes just kicked some serious butt on Saturday when they, I mean, we had some sloppy play, but we definitely did a great job against Penn State, and that was probably our toughest, toughest game for the next maybe three or four games. So the only thing we're kind of battling against now, no pun intended, is COVID. So COVID could definitely change the whole season in an instant because we would have, uh, you know, our Heisman quarterback candidate being taken out for three weeks because the Big Ten says even if you're sick, it's 21 days no matter what. So other conferences, it's only 10 days, but in the Big Ten, they got to be so cool and they got to be so, you know, woke that everything's got to be 21 days for some reason. So that could be a sidetrack to our season. But so far, we had Halloween this weekend. We had Buckeyes kicking some serious butt, which if you're interested in seeing some of that, you can go to my Instagram, which you can see right here, and see some of my pictures and posts if you're interested in that kind of situation. But right now, we're going to get back to some bands that we have kind of not been around because we've been you know, doing Haken's Virus. We've been doing Caligula's Horse, Rise Radiant. And we're almost finished with John Petrucci's Terminal Velocity. We have two more songs on that album. But it's been like a month since I've wanted to get back to some of these bands. Uh, it's actually been a really long time because I had my move from Korea to here since I've done these bands. So as you saw in the premiere in the other video, we did uh, Riverside. And now I want to get back to Pliny because I thought Pliny was pretty awesome. The first time I heard him, it was uh, Electric Sunrise. The guitar playing was pretty virtual, uh, virtuosic and just had a cool vibe to it. So definitely interested to hear more. So we're going to get into Selenium Forest. Speaking of Halloween, kind of sounds a little scary. So let's get to it. Very kind of funky, soulful, but it's got that virtuosic kind of ch -ch -ch. <laughs> Yes. Bluesy soul, baby. Oh, I love that. Straightforward blues. Uh. Nice. I like that kind of feel. Sounded a little sloppy, even for like a recording. I'd like to see him live, cause that sounded a little sloppy. And when you're on a recording, and you have a billion times to record it. You would think it wouldn't be sloppy at all. Maybe I need to listen to it again. from blues to like epic. <laughs> I feel like this is something that'd be off like John Petrucci's rock discipline, the sound. And in the background he solos. Fucking virtuosic. Sick. Wow, went really progressive all of a sudden. I like the sound of the hi hat. Hi hat's like cutting through the mix. 
in a good way. Epic. Fuck, I want to see this dude in concert. Damn. See, it's rising. This is what I'm talking about, by ascending. I like the way his guitar sound is. It's a little trebly, I wish it was a little more full, but it sounds great, especially on his uh, crunches. Keyboards. This is definitely like a jazzier dream theater. Which I love it. I love it. I feel like this is more like dream theater, not saying that this is like dream theater, I'm saying this is more like dream theater of old in the composition than the new dream theater. Newer, older. Totally, damn. It's very much jazzier dream theater. I'm surprised no singing. Can you say man i'm gonna give that definitely two thumbs up and that's directly going on my playlist dude that's gonna be on my gym playlist which i'm going to the gym in about two hours and i'm gonna be listening to that again man and if you're gonna get pissed off for me saying this then just stop listening because uh, there's a not a lot of people but there's been a couple of comments in the past that are like why do you always compare me to dream theater i'm gonna say it again for the last time probably for the last time they are my favorite band it's what is being the foundation and basis for me listening to all these other bands. It's impossible for you not to compare what you do know, which is why I've even compared this in the new stuff. I'm comparing a lot to Haken and Caligula's Horse because that's who I've been listening to lately. It's just the way the brain works. Just get over it, okay? <laughs> so this to me is a more jazzy dream theater in the sense that, and when I said it was more like dream theater in the past, you could tell in uh, When Dream and Day Unite, the writing style was much more Berkeley-esque. <laughs> and I don't know, I think Plenty probably went to Berkeley is my guess. It's just got, and Berkeley's definitely known for its jazz and rock. And like, you are you gotta learn the jazz stuff when you're learning rock and stuff like that. If you're gonna be like a virtuosic player, which he obviously is. So his composition has got, and, and the composition of Dream Theater's newer or older stuff, had more of a jazz composition to it. And then as they went away from that, it got to be more, I would say, poppy, rock, progressive, uh, less jazz oriented. And I feel like this was kind of like the very rock Berkeley kind of jazz virtuosic composition stuff more with some progressive, obviously heavy stuff. So I love that. And this is why I love, I tend to prefer older Dream Theater stuff because I think the composition 
with the jazz. I think jazz is more complicated. Jazz is more, uh, I don't know, just something intrinsically better for me. For me, I'm not saying for everybody, but for me, it's got the complication to it when it's done tastefully and well, because I don't like the, um, the two jazz. I like the, the, the fusion jazz, like tribal tech and stuff like that. But even tribal tech, I get bored with because it's too jazzy. It's too out there. It's too avant-garde. And this is not. To me, this is a beautiful balance of progressive, cool licks and lines with a lot of jazz influence still. And do you think I'm stupid <laughs> for the people who know him? Do you feel like I'm right on track with this or do you think I'm completely off? Because this is what I feel and what I think when I hear this. And I just, I love it. I would give this two thumbs up. This makes me want to listen to plenty more. <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> plenty more. And I, I want you guys to suggest to me what some other songs. Now, the two songs that I've heard from him, similar to Caligula's Horse, seems to be in this one frame, in this one kind of feeling and sound. Does he go off? into different areas and do different things, which again, he doesn't have to, and it's not like a requirement. I'm uh, just wondering if there's like, does, is it gonna sound mostly like this every time I listen to Plenty? Like every time I listen to Caligula's Horse, it's pretty much in this kind of box. Whereas I think other bands, uh, I would say uh, Haken a little bit, Dream Theater a lot, um, they kind of branch out into other styles, into a lot of their songs from pop to rock to jazz to uh, blues and stuff like that. So I'd be interested what you guys say, but I am definitely pumped and interested in liking this. So suggest more plenty to me. I am definitely happy about this. So as always, like and subscribe and we will see you next week. Peace.